Hello. My name is Ashley King. I'm a therapist, healer, yoga teacher, flower essence practitioner from Philadelphia. And I'm a friend of Vance's. And he has asked me to be here virtually this evening to do a mini little demo via video on dowsing for uh, energetic remedies. So I understand that you all have been learning a bit about flower essences, how they work, what they're about, maybe how to diagnose or determine what someone needs, which is what I'm going to talk a little bit about, because dowsing is one way that we can do that. There are sort of the right brain ways and the left brain ways to go into what it is that someone needs. Um, and if we are doing it through the more intuitive channels, dowsing is one of the, the ways that we can determine uh, energetic resonance with uh, the system. So rather than do, say, muscle testing, which a kinesiologist might do, uh, which will actually tell us the same thing, we can simply work with a pendulum. So if you haven't seen a pendulum before, I know it looks a little sort of witchy and woo-woo, but here we are, and you're just noticing, hopefully, that it's swinging back and forth. Okay, I'm going to stop it for the time being because I want you to see what my reads are. If you start to work with a pendulum, you're going to get your own uh, feel and your own read on what is a yes and what is a no. But for me, I'm going to ask the pendulum right now to show me a yes reading. Okay, And that's simply a, a back and forth swing. Okay, Sometimes the more resonant the, the read is, the, the stronger the swing will be. Okay, So that's a yes. I'm going to ask it now to show me a no. It's something that's not in alignment or resonance. Okay, that's what the read is going to look like. And then finally, um, if there's uncertainty, okay, this is what I might get. And that's a counterclockwise swing. Okay. Um, just so you know, if you pick up your own pendulum and you start to practice using it, your reads may be different than mine. Okay, so you're going to have to get a feel for your own resonance um, as, you, as you start to, to work with uh, the pendulum yourself. So that, that being said, okay, Vance has graciously volunteered for me to douse for remedy for him. So what I'm going to do now, um, I, the, the, and this is what you would do either for yourself or somebody else if you wanted to know, is um, the question I have is, is there a remedy, either a blend or a single flower, that would be uh, supportive to Vance's healing intention, whatever that might be at this moment? Okay, if you're working with somebody, you might possibly want to ask them what that is. Okay, And that's a really strong yes. Okay, So now, again, when we're working with pendulums, we want to ask yes or no questions. So we found out that there is a remedy or a blend that would be helpful to Vance in supporting his healing intention. So the next thing I want to know is, is this a single flower? Okay, is this a single flower? No. So that must mean that it's a blend. Okay, there's some intuition right there. All right, so it's a blend, which means there are a number of different flowers in the essence. So we want to know, are there two? Okay, there are more than one, so are there two flowers? And that's a no. Okay, are there three flowers? So we found out that it's a three-flower blend. Okay. What I have to my left here, and I'm going to put it back in a moment, but I'm just going to show you is a list, a handy little list, of about 65 or 70 different flowers. These are the flowers that are in the Australian bush line. Um, this one particular line of essences that we tend to work with. And just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to use the, the bush flowers. So I want to know, and I'm just going to scoot over here for a moment um, and find out if any of the flowers that are in Vance's Remedy are in the first column on my list. Okay, and I'm getting a no. So that must mean that they are all in the second column. Is that correct? I'm realizing you can't see everything I'm doing. Okay, so that means um, that I just need to go down and see. <laughs> it's already telling me, okay, it's not pink mala mala. Is it red helmet orchid? Red Lily, Red Stuva, Rough Bluebell, She Oak, Slender Rice Flower, Southern Cross, Stuart Desert Pea, Stuart Desert Rose, Spinifex, Sundew, Sunshine Wattle, 
tall mullamulla. Okay, so we've got a we've got one of the three. Okay, so tall mullamulla, tall yellow top, turkey bush, warata, wedding bush, wedding bush, and tall mullamulla. And we have one more essence. Wild potato bush, yellow cowslip orchid, wisteria, silver princess, emergency essence, Sydney rose, mm, lichen. Ooh, okay, so we've got lichen, wedding bush, and tall blue ball. And let's just see, is this blend, this three-flower blend, is this what Vance is in need of right now? We get a really strong yes. So there it is. Very brief, dowsing demo for you. If you are interested in talking more about the essences, or you have questions about dowsing, or you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, feel free to get in touch with me. You can find me online at www ashleykingtherapy.com I also write a blog occasionally at renegadeenlightenment.com and all of the contact information is there so enjoy the rest of your workshop and namaste